Hello everybody! So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys on this look that you see right here. Um, after I received the Morphe Jaclyn Hills Favorites palette, I absolutely fell in love with this beautiful shade right here. It's kind of like a hunter green and the shimmers in it kind of give off more of like a mermaid green color. And so I really wanted to do like a beautiful smoky eye with that color. And I think this is really wearable even though a lot of people tend to be more afraid of darker shades like this and colorful shades like this. I definitely think that this is a wearable look. So yes, most of the shadows that I used for this look are out of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Favorites eyeshadow palette, but then I also used, I think, just two other shadows um, from other brands in my collection. So those shadows you don't have to use. Um, I just decided to use them to give the look more of an oomph if you will. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and comment in the description. No, just kidding. Go ahead and comment in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. All right, the first thing that I'm going to do is apply my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eye Primer as always. I'm just going to apply this all over both lids and then take my finger and kind of just spread that out so it's nice and even. And this will also help it dry a little bit as well. Next, I'm going in with the Stila shade from the Sphere palette. This is the shade Pooter, and this is just gonna help set that eye primer before we go in with our shadows. Now, um, just to have like a sharp edge with the shadows, I'm going to take some Scotch tape and apply that on the edge of my eye and I'm just tracing where the end of my eyebrow goes all the way down underneath my lower lashes and this is like I said gonna give us a really harsh edge now we're going in with the stars of the show in the Morphe Jaclyn Hill favorites palette I'm taking that first um, transition shade and this is just a really beautiful light brown color and this is really gonna help all of the other colors that we work with blend out nicely and evenly. And I'm taking a Sonia Kashuk fluffy blending brush. Now I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can get a better view. Next I'm going in with the next shade up from that and it's on the first row. And again we're just going to be doing the same thing going over that shadow just to intensify it. And then my honey bunny came in to say hello to me. Next, we are going in with the star of the show, which is that beautiful hunter green shade that has a little bit of shimmer in it. And with this, we're going to use a flat, domed, round shader brush, I guess. <laughs> and we're just going to be packing this all over the lid, but making sure not to go too far up. And this is gonna take a little bit of work because this particular brush was um, a natural hair brush, so it's better to use synthetic brushes whenever you're doing all over the lid, but this is what I had that was clean, so it's what we're going to use. So again, just packing that all over the lid and making everything nice and even. After we have that green color all over the lid, we're going to go back in with either one of the two shades that we used for the crease and we're just going to buff that out just to make sure that there's no harsh lines. And then after that, we're going to go in with one of my favorite shades of all time. It's a Josie Marianne Coconut Watercolor and I can't remember the actual name of it right now, but I'll have everything listed for you down below. And so since this is a wet shadow, I'm going to apply it all over the lid but not going too far up because we want this to be kind of like a gradient effect after we are all done with the look. 
So after it dries just a little bit, I'm going to take a smaller shader brush and just kind of dab that around and make the edges a little more smooth than they are whenever you first apply it. And again, I'm just going in dabbing motions back and forth. And then after I kind of get the brush a little bit wet, I'm going to do some wiping motions. Next, we're going in with an Ulta shade, and this is in the color Sage, and it's just a really beautiful, pale, shimmery green. And this we're going to apply directly in the crease using a domed brush. <laughs> Anyways, this is again going to just really make sure that whenever you're looking at the eye, everything just kind of blends up together, and it's not just bam, green, bam, brown. We really want to make everything blend nicely together. And then after that, we're just going back in with one of those brown shades. You can pick whatever one you like. And yeah, so now it's time to reveal the sharp edge, which I always love doing because it's like, oh, it always has a perfect finish. Next, I'm going in with my new obsession. It's the It Cosmetics It O2 Oxygenizing, Ox, whatever foundation and I absolutely love this stuff I was using it last summer and now I'm finally dark enough to be able to go back to it and yeah I'm just using the same routine that I always use for my foundation the makeup geek foundation brush stippling that all over my face and then rounding it out now I'm going in with two NYX HD concealers and the first one is a little bit darker than what I've been using because I am tan now so I'm going to apply that first and then I'm going to go over that with the lighter shade and this will help just get to the shade that I want that I am currently using right now and then as always I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge to blend all of that out and I like to bring it up towards the temple just to make the highlight a little more even shade of those two concealers and I'm going to highlight the rest of my face on my chin, my nose, and my forehead in between the brow area and this is just going to make it to where right underneath the eye isn't stark white it's kind of even throughout the face and yeah I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty sponge. Using the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Contour Kit, as always, I'm using the banana shade to set my under eye concealer because if I don't, then I will crease and that's not cute. I'm also going to use that to set the rest of the areas that I highlighted with that concealer. And then after that, I'm going to use that really dark shade in the contour kit to contour my face because I am a little bit more tan now, so I can use that dark shade. Again, I'm using my Sonia Kashuk brush as always, and right now it looks like I'm a chiseled mess, but that's okay because I'm going to go in and blend that out with my Real Techniques bluffing brush. And as you can see, those colors always blend out so beautifully, that's why I'm obsessed with that contour kit. Can't really get much better than that. I'm also going to just bronze up the forehead. I'm not going to be doing any contouring, but I'm using a Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush for that. Next, I'm going in with an Ulta blush and I don't have any of the products in front of me, so I'll just have all of that information listed down below for you guys. And now I'm going in with my Becca Opal Highlighter, just applying that over the cheekbones and also dabbing a little bit onto the apples of the cheek. And this will help just have an overall glow for the look. And I'm also going to apply it over my cupid's bow because that's just cute. Next, to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take that same green color and with a little flat brush, 
I'm going to take that almost all the way to the edge of the eye but not quite because we're gonna go in with the darker brown shade that we used and finish out the inner corner of the eye and then after that we're going to use the lighter shade of the two browns that we used and buff that out with a pencil brush then I'm going in with a Revlon color stay out of frame obviously um, <laughs> eyeliner and applying this in the waterline the lower waterline and it's just a really beautiful green shade and it kind of just adds to the look. Next, I'm going in with the upper left hand shade in that palette and it's just a really beautiful highlight shade. I'm highlighting my brow bone and my inner tear duct. Now I'm using the Ulta Brow Gel in deep as always to just fill in my brows. Next I'm going to be using Maybelline Define a Lash Mascara and this is just going to prep the lashes before we go in with false eyelashes. And I love doing this step because it helps everything blend together and it makes it look like you're not necessarily wearing false lashes even though you are. And it always takes me forever to apply my false lashes, so I just show like little snippets of it because it's just, it's not a very cute process. So yeah, I'm using the Ardell Lashes in style 120, I believe it is. Now I'm going to use Maybelline's Lash Discovery for my lower lashes, and I absolutely am totally obsessed with this mascara, so you should get it. Next, I'm using a lip liner by Jordana Cosmetics, and I'm just lowering, or <laughs> lining and filling in that lip. Next, I'm going in with an Ulta Matte Lip Cream that I just talked about in my most recent haul, and filling that in. Yeah, so this completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh